Here at Victoria University, we offer a Cybersecurity Foundations course. The course runs two days a week for 12 weeks. All delivery is synchronous online delivery. That means you are in a virtual classroom with a teacher. The course is made up of five units. You will do an introductory unit in all things cybersecurity. You will learn how policy and procedure are used to control cybersecurity risk and you will use the Python programming language to write interactive security scripts. In the last two units you will learn how to carry out ethical hacking and analyse data for security anomalies and discrepancies. The course is aimed at beginners. You should have some basic ICT software skills such as using the internet, word processing and general operating system navigation. But there is no cybersecurity experience required. You'll start at the beginning, but if you already have some experience, then the program does progress in each unit through to advanced topics. The course is provided through a range of online tools, including Victoria University's online learning platform known as VU Collaborate. We also use partner learning platforms from Microsoft and Cisco. We use video conferencing and online forums for classroom interaction, also for assistance outside of class time and for general student discussion. The introductory unit covers all things cybersecurity, including attack mechanisms, the application of identity and access management as major security controls, common threats and vulnerabilities, various Windows applications designed for protection and security, and the Internet of Things as it relates to cybersecurity. In the Risk and Compliance Unit, you will learn how to conduct security audits and use standards-based policy and procedure to apply security controls to vulnerabilities. Penetration Testing is an enjoyable unit where you learn about the legalities of such affairs. You will use dedicated hacking and scripting tools from Kali Linux to scan virtual networks in our Azure cloud environment and penetrate endpoint devices. Hardware and software wireless vulnerabilities and mitigations are also discussed in this unit. You will use the popular Python programming language to create functional code. You'll do this using the most current integrated development environments and collaboration platforms, including Visual Studio Code and GitHub. In the final unit, we will use the most advanced security information and events management software known as Splunk to ingest data from various sources to analyse security logs and search for evidence of breaches and tampering. We also look in detail at the vulnerabilities found in databases and how to mitigate them. Past students have found the course to be engaging, relevant to the internships they've moved into and a stepping stone into the mainstream cybersecurity workforce. <laughs>